Let's listen to some music, man. Come on, we need to do some listening. Yeah. You're right. I totally agree. My wife's going to come kill me. She's going to be like, we're supposed to be making dinner tonight. Are you, are you, are you on a schedule? That. What's your schedule? Uh, it's not a tight schedule, but, you know. Maybe another hour or so. Okay, I don't. I don't, a, I don't have. I don't have a. Sh- I don't have a schedule. Like. I'm. I'm my own. I'm my own boss. Well, I've. I've actually asked the boss if I can be my own boss. So I am my own boss at the minute. That's fine. <laughs> I've, I've been given. I've, <laughs> I've been given a day pass. <laughs> there you go. It's it's been tough. I've been, I haven't been very tentative because I've been in a, been writing a lot recently. And the more I write, the less I listen. Yeah, you know, I'm in. Not, I'm, I'm the same. Two, yeah. Yeah, and for two reasons. One's because there's I have less time to listen, and the other reason is is because I find there's something special about writing inside of a bubble. You know, once you're in that bubble, it's hard to come out of it. Exactly. You know? um, exactly. Well, that yeah. was the way that was the way I was for that whole time I was doing that album over the last few weeks. Uh, exactly yeah. the same. So, listen, if you don't want to listen to stuff just now, that's absolutely cool with me. We've got enough. Oh no, I'm. Oh, I'm totally cool with that. All right, okay. that's what I'm saying. I like, I like, I, I just like, just like you probably haven't heard these songs either. Yeah, no, that's fine. Uh, but I know what I, I know what that's like. That's why I didn't make any approaches over the last few weeks because I was, I just wanted to stay until that album was done. Once that's done, I've now got other stuff on the go, but that's fine. But I was, I was very much in that little bubble. It's a great little bubble to be in, isn't it? Oh, it's wonderful. No, I, I think it's, it's a fantastic place to be. You know. Yeah. And I know, I know people that live in there, like. Like guys like Steve Wilson apparently spend most of the time there. Like, I hear him talk about mu- so he talks so passionately about music, but he's like, "Why, well, I, I can't talk about music that's been written in the last twenty years because I don't listen to music anymore." He says, "You know, and that's that terrifies me to think that, you know, one day I could say something like that. Like, I haven't listened to any new music in ten years, you know, because I've been afraid to, or I've been just so blocked off from the rest of, you know, I'm so busy remastering and doing my own music that I don't have time to listen to anything else, you know." Yeah, I don't know. I, don't know. It's, it's, I like to li- I listen in 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 sort of well, it, yeah. I guess when when we're not doing this sort of thing, I listen in batches. I'll listen to, I'll listen to. Uh, I've, I've got some um, uh, porcupine tree stuff there. I've got the Stephen Wilson one, but I'll listen to batches of things, and I'll go down a rabbit hole. Your God, that's that that's that's not pleasant. When you go down a rabbit hole, you you do that from time to time. You you think, oh, I must check out, and then you start down the rabbit hole, and you're like, what? And you don't you don't realize quite how many albums there are. <laughs> it's like, oh my god, <laughs> I didn't realize this was going to happen because I don't like to judge music just by a cursory listen. I like to sort of get in that zone and take it in, and then I know whether it, whether it's suitable or not. And there's a lot of stuff I've missed because I've just given it a cursory listen, so I learn not to do that now. So listening for me is like work. You know, it's like it's like a it's as creative as, and especially since meeting you and and you know finding someone else that listens deeply. You know, it's like it's like a it, it's it, it has confirmed my suspicion that there's something profound about listening, and then finding uh, gosh I can't remember the lady's name, but that deep listening lady, we'll call her the deep listening lady whose book I have somewhere, um, you know, that there was somebody who made a career out of the idea of, of, of deep listening and it's all it's all very valuable and very spiritual and all of that. So that's been great. So I don't like to listen casually now. I don't listen casually. Yeah, no, I, I, I exactly. I'm the same way. And sometimes it, I, get, I get held back because there'd be albums I keep wait, wanting to listen to, but because I don't, I, don't, I don't have it in me to give it the respect I feel it deserves. I, I just don't listen to it, mm. you know, because I've, and then another, they keep getting distracted, right? Like I, I'm dying to listen to this new Steve Wilson album, but I haven't found the right moment yet. Yeah. You don't want you know, to ruin I, it. You don't want to listen to it badly. And then forevermore, it will just be a bad album because you didn't manage to listen to it properly. Plus you want to have that great experience of finding something wonderful, you know? Okay. You, you might tune in to something like Roger Waters and be, Meh, in my case, Meh. but uh, you know, that's that's rare usually when you tune into something you get you do get something nice out of it you do get something that informs your own process and makes you makes you think about things in a different way so yeah yeah so i'm the same it once increasingly so when i'm in that bubble of creativity i don't want to mix that up with listening and the the, the other way around as well 